We're taking a look live at Fulton County, Georgia, outside a polling station as people continue to arrive there. Fulton County, where Atlanta is located. It is voting day in that state, an election that will shape Joe Biden's presidency. People in Georgia are casting ballots in two runoff votes that will determine control of the U.S. Senate. Democrats winning Senate control would give a big boost to Biden's administration. Our senior Washington editor, Lindsay Duncombe, is watching that very closely. Why? Because there's so much at stake in this, Lindsay. Trump <laughs> and Biden held dueling rallies yesterday on the eve of the vote. What what were their closing messages? Well, you got the sense, Heather, from both leaders that this is about far more than one state or just these two Senate seats with the balance of power in the Senate at stake. You know, for Democrats, Biden winning Georgia was a huge victory, the first time that had happened in decades, even though Donald Trump refuses to believe that Biden won, even after a three recounts. So with Biden in the state, his message was one of really continuing that momentum. He was promising things specific to the pandemic, including economic relief, uh, as well as an efficient vaccine rollout. Here's some of what Biden told voters in Georgia yesterday. It's been intense. It's been nonstop. But I'm asking you to give everything you've got one more day. One more day. And that one more day, this is not hyperbole, you can change America. And, you know, there really is, from Republicans, a sense of fear. They're, they're worried about that change. The idea that handing the control of the Senate by making it a tie with those two Senate sheet seats, should they flip, meaning that control in a tie-breaking vote would go to the vice president-elect, Kamala Harris, um, that is a sense of something that the Republicans, including the president, Heather, are portraying as scary. Here's what Donald Trump said at his rally. The radical Democrats are trying to capture Georgia's Senate seats so they can wield unchecked, unrestrained, absolute power over every aspect of your lives. And it was interesting to watch this rally with Donald Trump because this could be one of the last campaign rallies we see from the president as the president. And he didn't spend a whole lot of time on the Senate race in Georgia. He repeated the false claims that the election was stolen from him. And uh, he went on to talk about what's going to happen this week in Congress as senators and members of the House of Representatives are going to essentially delay the certification certification of the vote by Congress. They don't have the votes to do more than that, but a lot of grievances aired by the president. Right in line with those grievances is one of the uh, people vying for that Senate seat, the person who's in the seat now trying to keep her job, Kelly Leffler. At the rally, she said that she will join those senators, Heather, in the effort uh, to overturn the election results in Congress. Yes, that's uh, something we'll be watching very closely tomorrow. Kelly Leffler, one of the names to listen for today, one of the Republicans vying for one of those two seats. Tell us more about the other three candidates. Well, Leffler is particularly interesting because she's one of the wealthiest members of Congress. She owns a stake in the WNBA franchise in Atlanta, and she's been critical of the Black Lives Matter movement. She is running against uh, someone with very opposite views, a, a pastor, a preacher, Reverend Raphael Warnock, who actually preaches in the same church where uh, Martin Luther King, uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Was, uh, was the preacher. On the flip side, you have more contrast in that second seat. You've got uh, a, a young filmmaker in his early 30s running for the Democrats up against uh, the current Republican senator who is the former CEO of, of Reebok and 70 years old. So generational differences uh, certainly present in that. In terms of turnout, that's what really matters. And we know Georgians care about this election. More than three million of them, of them have already cast their ballots. What does that mean? It means, Heather, that we could not get the results tonight, or rather it could take days to count them, because what the American election process really needs right now is more suspense. <laughs> That's right.
And we'll here we are again, right back where we were in November, it seems in some ways, Lindsay. Thank you so very much. Mm -hmm. Our senior Washington editor, Lindsay Duncombe.